Hi friends! Has it ever happened to you where you create the perfect wing on one side and then you go to the other side and try to match it and then this happens? So you try to smudge it away, you end up scratching your eye about 50 times and then you realise it's too fat so you go back to the other side and try to thicken that up. So you take a tiny bit of a breather, you have a little cry and then you try to blend it out with your sponge. Say a couple of prayers, Lord help me. But the Lord is not on your side today, clearly, because your wings are just getting fatter and fatter. So now you're presented with two options. You can either cry it out, which means you're going to end up with two black eyes and what was the point of trying in the first place? Or you can carry on and make your wings bigger. What the hell have you done? Not only do you look like you're about to take off for your latest holiday, but you're extremely late. Ha <laughs> ha, story of my life. So today I thought I would teach you how I create this simple daytime kind of wing, something that Charlotte Tilbury would do, but of course with a bit of flavour. What you're going to need is a brown eyeliner and a black eyeliner. I like Teddy from MAC and Perversion from Urban Decay. Ladies and gents, please, please sharpen your damn pencils. I don't want to be seeing no blunt pencils while you're trying to do a wing. They should be so sharp that you can poke anybody's eyes out, especially if they're looking at your man. Here I'm just tight lining my upper lash line with some black eyeliner. So this part is important. You want to figure out where the fold of your eye is because you don't want to go over that fold. It's only going to make creating a wing even more difficult. You want to create your wing over that flat section that I just showed you. So here you can see that I'm starting from the outer corner of my eye and just drawing the wing outwards and then going to the end of the wing, the tail, and drawing the line backwards to the eye. Oh, by the way, I'm using a brown pencil here. By starting off with a brown pencil, especially like Teddy, you can really create a nice shape to your eye and it's not going to be too dramatic, so you can kind of mould it how you want to. Anything extra I like to wipe away. So here, can you see that although I've drawn a wing, it's almost manipulated my eye shape rather than looking like a really strong wing. At this stage, you just want to keep it as soft as possible. Then taking the black eyeliner, this is Perversion from Urban Decay, I'm just going to concentrate this in the areas that I want depth. I don't exactly want this to be the whole shape of the wing. So I'm concentrating this colour onto the outer corner of my eye and just blending it into the brown wing that I've already created. And the reason being is because I want to give my eye the lift into kind of like a cat eye, but I want the wing to be brown. Don't be scared to use your finger just to smudge away anything that looks a bit too much. You don't want it to look crazy, you want it to look cute and you want your eyes to look lifted. Bitch, look at my almond shape eye, it's so pretty. Then going back in with the brown eyeliner, I like to run this along the lower lash line and into the waterline to create extra depth. Then find any flat synthetic brush that you have. I like to use the MAC 242. It's very firm. It's going to help when you are cleaning up under your wing. Look at that. You can actually leave it like this, but I prefer to have a smoked out lower lash line. So I will go in with a pencil brush and just blend out the lower lash line. Look how much of a difference that makes when compared to the other eye. It looks lifted, it looks longer, it looks sharp, it looks defined. All the good things that we want in our eye makeup. To finish this look off, I like to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. I like to go in with Monsieur Big from Lancome. I find that it really helps when keeping your eyelashes lifted and dark and thick and voluminous, everything that we want. And that is it. You can leave it like this or if you prefer to use lashes, you can go ahead and use any lashes. I'm using the ones from Primark. I'm just taking the ends of the ones that I've chopped off and I'm just applying it to the outer corner of my eye. Stamp that lash into place so it doesn't move anywhere. This has been my favourite way to apply lashes recently because it just gives your eye that extra lift without looking too heavy, especially on like natural days where you don't want to wear a full eyelash but you want a little some extra. And that is it you guys, look how simple and easy that was to do. It just takes a teeny bit of patience and a teeny bit of practice but I promise you, you will get there and you will look beautiful. Look at my eyes, look at my eyes. If you enjoy these kind of tutorials, let me know and I'll create more of them. If you know somebody who creates wonky ass wings and you don't have the heart to tell them, then please share this with them. I would love to help somebody out. If you try out this technique, then please don't forget to tag me. I love seeing your recreations. I'm going to have to leave you and love you. I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.